All right, man. Does it sound like this? The Ring uh, Magazine, where's Devin Haney? Let's talk about it. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, the subscribe button, it's the bell icon button, hit all notifications, appreciate your chance, get notifications. We go live or drop the video. Now, apparently, uh, Devin Haney had an issue <clears throat> with, um, they had, he had an issue with the Ring Magazine pound for pound list, which plenty of people did, but I'll talk about that in another video, right? And <clears throat> so he got mad because he wasn't on the pound. They pound for pound list and said, you know, they could have a dope back. Then he turned until Dougie Fisher said, mail it back then. And he said, give me your address and I'll mail it back. And then he went into some other stuff. So, um, <clears throat> I mean, obviously, y'all know it's an agenda. This is the same company they call Al Heyman the Black Hitler. So it ain't no, you know, <clears throat> you know, the Ring Magazine. It's not the actual lineal title. It lost that prestige once the promotional company bought it, which was <clears throat> Oscar De La Hoya and Golden Boy. So that's a conflict of interest. And that's why it's not recognized as an actual belt, right? Once the Ring Magazine sold the belt to Oscar De La Hoya and Golden Boy, the belt, the belt lost its prestige. So the, the belt didn't matter anymore. It, it, it's not the lineal, per se. It's not the lineal. So he said the youngest undisputed champion of the four, four belt era. Man, out on the pound for pound list is crazy, especially when guys who don't even hold the ring magazine belt currently made the list. Get the F out of here. So, um, you know, it is what it is. Uh, they got Lomachenko on there. I mean, I got a few. I don't even care about boxing no more, honestly, dude. It's just it's so dumbed down and so watered down. Even, the you know, the writers – of yesterday, which is we consider the old media, the print writer media, um, the ones that's quote unquote still around and doing it the old way. It is to the point where who cares, dude? You just go ahead and say y'all don't like certain fighters, and I can respect that. You know, because it's not about styles. It was about styles. How did Usa get style points for being Anthony Joshua? Then, come on, I understand he was the underdog and all that type of stuff, but. You know, it's just, it's just to the point where it's just a lot of social media that changed the game around, gave everybody a platform, gave everybody an opinion. And some, some of these dudes who used to have a solid opinion don't have a solid opinion. So, um, but it don't really count. So it's no, no point to really cry about it because it don't count. You know, it's not an actual lineal title. The lineal title right now is a myth. You know, everybody can say, you can look at the welterweight division per se, and everybody can say, well, Earl Spence demanded man to beat. Some people might say Terrence Crawford demanded beat. Okay, neither one of them, neither one of them beat the previous lineal champion. And that can be subjective. Somebody can say Pacquiao, somebody can say Mayweather, all oh, this, this. I mean, Cole, it's all subjective. You know, the ring belt, even if it was a lineal title, it's subjective. You know, so you can have four people holding, we got one, one person holding the belt, right? But somebody else in that division could be better than him. So, I mean, like I said before, I'm not trying to confuse people, but it's an opinion. It's an opinion. Like, just like out of four belts, who the best champion? It's an opinion. The number 15 guy can probably whoop a champion right now, some way divisions. 20th guy, 40th guy, you never know. So it's always an opinionated sport. You know, and that's what it is. So then he went back and say, uh, they won't trick me out of my trick me out of my spot. You know, and I wouldn't even like really worry about it if I was him. But then uh Doug Fisher said, Well, mail it back then. Back to what's channel. He said, No problem. DM me DM me DM address and I have a sent out, brother. So these are the same people that were saying, no offense to Dougie Fisher, he know a lot about boxing. They're the same people that were saying Canelo was going to be Floyd Mayweather. So, I mean, at the end of the day, you got to understand, Canelo was a golden boy fighter at the time. Dougie Fisher and Stevie Kim are like, Doug, uh, are like go they are golden boy employees. There is a, a hard conflict of interest there. There's no if ands, buts about it. There is a conflict of interest there. Like it or not, once again, I say it again. There is a conflict of interest. <laughs> okay? 
So of course it's hard. That's like that's like saying, well, I'm gonna get a I'm gonna get a lineal uh the belt out, and your and you give it to your son. No matter if your son earned it or not, or or don't earn it or didn't earn it, people gonna say, well, there is a conflict of interest there. <laughs> it's just the way it is. It's just the way it is. You know, they have a conflict of interest. I think the WBA used to be the, the lineal, kind of like the, that belt. I think the WBA started off being that actual ring belt, that lineal belt. If my memory serves me correctly, I could be wrong. And I think it did. You know, but uh, but it, it ain't nothing to get bit out of shape about. You know, he was really to get bent out of shape is Marisa Suleiman saying they got a fund to help fighter box but ex fighters with they month with, with money. That's any of them. Like, okay, you don't seem like you making that big of an impact though. You know. <clears throat> don't seem like they making that big of an impact. But Oh, I say Sibel Body is a fucking joke. And, and you know, Mauricio Suleiman, I got a video coming. Mauricio Suleiman, um, you know, Mauricio Suleiman, uh, you know, was saying, uh, he, was, he was saying that, uh, excuse me, excuse me. He was saying, you know, how, uh, I forgot my train of thought. He was saying a whole bunch of BS. But uh, you know how they help the fighters out financially and all that type of stuff, and you know, oh, how he was saying how you know they they the, you know they run they you know how the NBA run it uh the, the NBA owners run the NBA and nobody runs sanctioned belt bodies it's independently ran that's bullshit. All they deci- all they decisions, all their decisions is based off of financial merit. We all know there's been a lot of cases, in in my opinion, still going on, that these 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 people, like uh, the the managers, is all not in the video. The hmm, promoters, they all paying for spots. That's why they call the WBO what Bob ordered. That's how that name became what Bob ordered. Don't forget it. So does the does the promoters pay for what they want to pay for? That's why we got so many belts. Because when they order title eliminators and final time eliminators and all that type of stuff, the promoters they don't want to make fights. So they just say, here go the regular belt, and here go this belt, here go that belt. That's just the way it is. So he said that that was a bold faced lie. The promoters and managers all pay all pay them. For title fights and, and, and win the order and mandatory. That's why Sean Porter said it, it really ain't no such thing as a mandatory. Because it's all, it's all, hold on, my bad. What is going on here? It's all, excuse me. It's all, uh, it's all, uh, cash being passed under the table. Look, you, you know he had, he was under in the bed with Kennehan. People tend to forget he was in the bed with Kennehan, Mauricio Suleiman. So, you know the Ring Magazine ain't no li- real lineal belt. It's not. A promotional company cannot hand out the lineal belt. That's a conflict of interest. So what they're arguing about is a whole bunch of fucking nothing, bro. Nothing. And you know. And it, with this social media, with this social media thing going on, people making bigger deals of this shit than anything. So, and so to be clear, I'm not obligated to wear the ring belt. If I earned it, I I, I earned it. I, then I earned it, whether I wear it or not. So stop asking to uh, for it back. Just shows y'all never wanted me to have it in the first place, and they didn't. They don't ever want to let black fighters in. They never wanted to let black fighters in. We knew that. That's common sense. 
That company called him Al Heyman a black Hitler. Come on, they called him the black Hitler. We know Oscar come from East LA. Well, it ain't, it ain't no, it ain't no, it ain't no, come on. It is what it is. It is what it is. I, I mean, <clears throat> I, I just wouldn't even worry about it if I'm Devin Haney, dude. It means nothing, bro. And the and it means nothing. It don't mean you the best. It don't it don't mean nothing no more. So he concerned about a whole bunch of nothing, dude. It don't mean you the best. So don't forget that. It means absolutely nothing. So, it's my opinion on it, man. And, uh, you know, then Dougie Fisher went down here and said, if you have a problem with the ring belt, that's you want to take it out of on our champ on your our championship titles. Why would you want to hold on to it? Even if he's just kept in your home, you tweeted the ring could keep the belt. So, let us keep it. Send it to me and I pay for the shipping. <clears throat> you know, um, and at the end of the day, he should send it to him. Matter of fact, he should burn that hole. How about that? I'll burn it. I'll burn it. Real talk, I'll burn it. Why not? I'll burn it. I will I will burn it. That's what he should do, burn it, hope. But nonetheless, that's up to him to figure out what he uh what he wanna do, man. But <clears throat> that's up to him. That that's literally up to him, so um but nonetheless, it is what it is. Let me know what you girls and guys think. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. That subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications. Increase your chance of notifications. We go live. Drop the video. Financially, you want to support the channel. Cash app, dollar sign, CJ Good 313 Venmo, CJ Good 313 PayPal link description. Hit the link tree. Find me on Twitch, Twitter, Instagram. <laughs> Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal. All the information uh, comment in the link tree. That's in the description. Appreciate the love and support. Peace.